I am so excited to welcome Jonathan Swartz. He is in the back. Jonathan, um, do you mind? Oh, right there. Um, he's going to actually do a live demo today. So this is something that he's going to show you with what he's building in the Filecoin ecosystem. A little bit of background about Jonathan. Jonathan has been a Web3 engineer for a long time now in crypto years. He's been involved in the Filecoin IPFS ecosystem for the last five years. He's also worked at places like Consensus. And most recently, he's been working with us to build interoperable apps and tools. So he's going to share a little bit about what he's doing with Glyph. Um, so we're going to give him a little bit of time. Jonathan is based in New York, living in Brooklyn. And so if you are based in New York and you would like to find additional time, um, he will probably be at NFT New York City or some of the other events in, in New York. And so we're going to give Jonathan a few minutes to walk up here. He's now mic'd up. Um, can you hear me? Nope. Yes. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Can, can anyone hear me? That's good. What's Great. up, y'all? Texas. Thanks, Clara. Um, yeah, so funny story, actually. I, uh, I thought I was giving a 45-minute presentation until last night. So I'm wildly unprepared. Um, but I like that. I like that. And yeah, I just, I'll dive right in since I know we're a little bit behind on time. Um, I'm Jonathan Schwartz. I work on Glyph. Uh, and Glyph are interoperable apps and tools for Filecoin. This looks like bad resolution. That looks better. Um, so maybe just look over there. Uh, so let me get started. I, I want to give a live demo, but I don't know which tool to live demo. So I want to get a sense of like where the audience is at, what the audience would like to see. Um, so who here, well first, who's heard of Glyph? Like don't, don't lie. Um, okay, cool, nice, that's pretty good. Who, who here has used a Filecoin wallet in the past? Um, has anyone? Like, okay, cool, what, who out of those people, like a centralized wallet, like Gemini or Coinbase, or are you using a non-custodial wallet, like a Ledger device? Ledger, both? Okay, cool. Um, how about multi-sig wallets? Is that anyone, do people know what multi-sigs are? Just kind of know? Okay, perfect. I get a sense of where we're at. Um, so this, let me go full screen. I, I also like for live demos to really um, demo like the most bleeding edge stuff uh, to give you a sneak peek into what's coming. This is not technically out yet. Uh, some of the, the demo, like some of these apps are live. You can find them on mainnet and you can use them. I use them, um, but they're not sort of like formally launched yet. And these little 3D images are completely fake. Um, we might make them into NFTs, but for now, they're just for fun. Um, so I'll go through the wallet really quickly um, in case you haven't seen it and explain just like what is the wallet, how would you use it? And then we'll quickly go through the safe which is a multi-sig wallet and a much safer way to handle Filecoin. Um, I would strongly recommend, even, even for any crypto asset that you hold, I would recommend using multi-sigs over, over um, general wallets. And that was what my 45 minute talk was about. But that, if you, yeah, if you wanna know more, come find me after and, and we'll do it. Um, so let's start with the wallet. So a wallet, uh-oh, okay. So the wallet, uh, is basically just like a really easy way to send and receive Filecoin. It works with your Ledger device. In this version, we also now are working with MetaMask, which is really cool. MetaMask has this new like snaps feature where it can work with other blockchains that aren't Ethereum or EVM based chains. Um, that's okay if that's confusing. I will show you how to use the Glyph wallet to send Filecoin with MetaMask. So like up here, you see I have a Chrome extension installed. That's MetaMask. It's a new version as well. So here, let me blow this up. There we go. So let's go to logging with MetaMask. Now, this is on a test net, right? So uh, there we go. Internet's a little slow. So this is fake Filecoin. Um, it's not real. And basically, this is what the wallet looks like. Um, I have a bunch of transactions that I've sent to different addresses for different amounts, different methods. Um, these might look confusing for now, and we can I can explain some of those in a little bit. Just gotta make sure I don't go over on time. But um, yeah, so if you were 
if you wanted to send Filecoin to someone um, and you didn't want to basically sign up for a centralized exchange and give your license information and all this information about yourself, you could use what's called a non-custodial wallet. A non-custodial wallet is one that you have complete ownership and control over. Um, and Glyph, the Glyph wallet is basically, it enables non-custodial uh, sort of, uh, or I'm kind of screwing up the words. It's a non-custodial wallet for Filecoin. Um, and so basically what this means is I actually, by signing into the Glyph wallet with MetaMask, I have a whole bunch of different individual accounts that I can send and receive Filecoin to. So um, this is like a default account and I can pull it up as well in our new Glyph Explorer. Um, this is, looks a lot like Etherscan and these are all going to drop really soon. They're already kind of out, but we'll really formally push them. Um, and so let's, let's send some Filecoin. So in this example, I'll send some Filecoin from my default account to, let's just say, this account three over here. So I'm going to copy this address, and this is basically where I send Filecoin to. Um, and then I'm going to go back into my default one. Let's send some Filecoin. The recipient is the address that I just chose. Let's send it one Filecoin, and let's go ahead and, and do it. Um, so basically, oh, now I have to review and make sure the transaction fee is okay. I can actually change the fee if I want a little bit, um, but I, I don't have time to go into the, the nitty gritties here, unfortunately. So now MetaMask just popped up. It's saying, hey, do you want to send this message to this, your other wallet for one Filecoin with this transaction fee information? I wish I had more time to explain what all that really meant to all of you, but just for now, we'll approve it. We'll say, yeah, that all looks right, and, um, and voila, now we've sent some Filecoin to another wallet. Um, and so this is nothing like, you know, super technically innovative, but it's much, it's much more user friendly. There's little things that like I personally really like, like knowing that your pending transaction is actually pending and watching it like confirm into a state that you can be confident is like has actually worked. Um, so that's the wallet. How much time do I have left? I don't want to take things too far over. Five minutes, let's say. Five minutes, that good? Okay. So I'll give you a quick overview of what uh, a Filecoin multi-sig looks like with Glyph. Um, so here, this is the safe. And basically like, if you don't know what a multi-sig wallet is, imagine basically like you have a bank account with your family um, and you go to the bank and you say, hey look, there's four members in my family. In order to spend any of this money in our family bank account, we need three of the four family members to agree. And once the three of four have agreed, um, then send the money wherever we all want to send it, right? So a multi-sig wallet, what we're calling the safe, it basically is a software application that runs on the blockchain to enforce those rules with a shared bank account, essentially, right? So um, today, right now, I'll just create a, a safe together um, with y'all. So you could see if you wanted to custody your own Filecoin in a very safe manner, how you might go about doing that. Mm. So let's, let's just dive in. So first, I gotta log in with MetaMask again, um, and then I'm gonna select who's gonna be the, the creator of my new safe, my new multi-safe. So I'll, I'll choose the default account again. Um, I don't have a safe ID, so I'm gonna go ahead and create one. So here, now I can add what we're calling signers or other owners of your multi-sig, right? Those would be like adding family members to your family who could go to the bank and say, hey, send this money to you know grandma or grandpa or whatever. Um, so let's add some signers. Uh, let's go back to the wallet and add some more wallets here. So these again, because I've logged in with MetaMask, I get hundreds if not thousands of individual accounts that are all capable of being signers or owners of my multi-sig wallet on Glyph, right? So here what I'm doing is I'm just saying, okay, I'm creating the multi-sig with the default account, but I'm gonna add account one, two, and three as my three other family members who can all sign for this multi-sig and actually do things with the shared bank account that it holds, right? So um, let's select this one. We'll add you, Oop. and then another one. 
So we'll make a four-person family, um, just like I talked about earlier. So, so now we, we basically have, oops, we have four total signers, and now there's this, this required approvals, right? And so what required approvals means is it's basically how many family members have to agree on that transaction in order for it to pass through, in order for it to execute. Um, so the reason that this makes multi-sigs a much safer option for holding crypto is because you can actually lose some of your wallets um, and you can keep your crypto and not really worry about it. Or like, normally you wouldn't use one wallet like this to, to, for all of your multi-sig owners. You might use a ledger device, you might use a different wallet, one could be your Glyph wallet, so you have some diversity. And if, let's say, God forbid, I got attacked in the street, if they get my Glyph wallet, they still don't have my ledger, so they still can't steal all my funds, right? Um, so let's make this three out of my four family members have to agree. Um, we'll put in one file coin, and then I will create this new safe. Um, let's see what time we're working with. Cool. So again, I wish I could explain more of this to you. If you are interested, come find me. We can chat about it. Um, uh, but yeah, so now the safe is being created. I can watch it being created in the Explorer. And yet, yeah, I'll, I'll put up a tutorial or something um, on the Glyph blog that basically shows like how to use the safe once you've created it. So since we didn't really get to it today. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening and thank you for coming. And I'm John and uh, this is Glyph.